Okay, today we need to replace bleed pressure regulator valve, which is all the way up here. It's part of the engine bleed system and we are talking about CFM56-5B, which is installed on A320. The reason for replacement is that this valve has a malfunction, so it is secured in a closed position thanks to this pin and it is placed on MEL, so bleed system on engine 2 is placed on MEL, so it's not working, so we can replace it. Valve itself uh, is equipped with uh, two sense lines, one is down here, the other one is here in the back and then we have one connector which is all the way here behind where that will go on the other side but let's start with sense line on the which is easy to access that was basically it uh, I will install the plugs on those two and we will move to the other side and hopefully I will be able to somehow show you how to remove the lines. This is a connector of the bleed pressure regulator valve and this is the other sense line and as you can see uh, sense line blocking uh, removal of the connector and the connector is blocking uh, the way to get to sense line so I'll try to somehow lose it a bit let's see if it will go if not I'll try to use a craft foot, which might work. My plane is not a long time ago on the ground, so everything is hot. But with craft foot, it will gonna work. Yes. See? Should go my fingers yes it goes that's a sense line that one is on flexible holes so we'll be able to move it a bit now you can see that there is a space for the connector so finally some space and yeah connector is slowly going Click by click. Let's see if I'll be able to move it by hand. Okay, it goes out. We can plug it and we can start with removal of the valve. So it's time to remove the valve since all connections are removed. One, second one, okay, good, uh, as you can see this, the, the bolt which secured it in the closed position is secured against the clamp, so we need to cut that. Out, out, and we'll remove it completely. So that's it. Now we should be able to just remove the clamps. And the top one, same way. <laughs> Small help of plastic hammer, it will go. Yeah. The top one is out as well. Good. Now, since the duct 
is flexible, we have a certain motion. That's a difference, as I told you, compared to a high pressure valve. We can remove it. This is our valve. It's the uh, same as the high pressure valve. It's a butterfly type. So it turns, it depends on the position of the button, it will either open or close. One small update regarding this topic, this is bleed valve regulator shuttle valve, which means that it can regulate the pressure by adjustment of the flap of the valve. So we can prepare the new one and install it. Here we have a old valve, here is a new valve, but there are a few differences. They can be installed on different positions and they have different connections. So as you can see, we only need, we need to have this one free, but we have a plug installed over here and we need to place it over here on this position. So we need to remove it from over here. And move it all the way here. And of course, torque it with required volume. Good. So that's on place. Other than that, it's uh, similar to this one. Yep, yeah, as you can see, the pin which mechanically blocks the valve is uh, over here, and basically. It is attached to the valve itself so then you'll just screw it over here in this position and it's blocked as you can see it on this one uh, we need to install two new seals which I have uh, prepared so let's start with that seals are over here one and the other one. Here I have new seals, so place them on the place. One, the other one. So here we have our wealth, so let's place it on position. It's always, it requires a bit of practice. But it's important to not tie them so you can later on turn the valve a bit because everything needs to sit properly. Then the other one, as I said, the top duct is flexible. One small note, maybe on camera it looks like there is a lot of space, but I can barely fit both my hands and head in the spot. So it's a bit maybe challenging to work on this place. Yes, now it sits, so we can Start with the sense lines and electrical connectors, and then we'll torque the clamps. So let's start with the connector.
Okay. Til. Der er så en Det er cheesy. Okay. Det er en plads. Godt. Okay, så lad os prøve den. Ok. Bottom sounds like. Uh. All the way by hand. And then bulk. And the last thing is are the clamps. So we'll tie them first. Now, just the position of the plastic hammer, so that it sits. Great! Valve has been installed, so we can apply developer and then perform the run. So we'll apply the developer on each connection. Now we now we will wait until it get dry and we can perform the strand. So now we close the C ducts fan codes and we perform the liter. As always, I'm using automatic start procedure. Ignition B. Twenty-two fuel flow. 
Did you think? I'll press green. Fifty five cut engine two alive. Mode selector normal. And whenever engine reach idle, I will start the on. test, which means I will switch on the bleed system of engine 2 and I need to switch off the bleed of APU, APU since off. APU bleed has always priority. Whenever APU bleed air supply stops, engine bleed valve should open and start supplying the aircraft systems. The are the active. Then I will switch off the bleed system of the engine which should force bleed valve to close position and this action will give us fault because this is not normal flight configuration. Fault. Bleed valve on. Pressure available. Good. Five minutes engine to shut down. Fuel flow zero. And I perform also bite test which passed as well. So all what's remaining is to check if we don't have any leak. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there are no stains or something, which means that uh, leak check has been, ha leak check pass. Here on the other sense line, on the back side, you see nothing, which means that uh, that's okay. Test itself, uh, pass as well. I tried to close the valve, open the valve. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's all. We can close the C duct and uh, all that's remaining is paperwork. That's all about the bleed valve of uh, CFM 56-5B. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer to you. As always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. That's all from my side. My name is Tomasz. This was Recreate Maintenance with Zeto and I'll see you next one. Bye.